Thank you, Mackenzie, for that nice introduction. I have a couple things I want to tell you that I do as a hobby that have a big bearing on what I'm going to talk about. I grew up at the beach and I started uh, bicycling when I was about four years old. But I still love bicycling. I started going surfing when I was about five years old. And I still go surfing. They're two passions that I just love to do. So, I teach physics and that's the third passion I love to do. And what I want to talk to you is a little bit about physics today. And the phenomenon we want to look at is called resonance. Now, resonance is adding energy at just the right frequency. Those of you that play a musical instrument may know all about it. So I brought a little thing that I can show you about resonating. So it's a glove. And I can wiggle the glove and I can make it move. And I can wiggle it more and make it move even more. If I take it and put it on a piece of plastic and stretch it and blow on it, I can add a lot of energy to it and make it vibrate even more. So, when you start to think about resonance, you can also think about a tetherball. If you go play tetherball, which is another thing that's fun to do, you can smack that tetherball and make it go faster. And smack that tetherball and make it go even faster. Resonance, it's all about timing. So, I love riding my bike, like I said, I'm riding my bicycle home from school, and then I'm just rolling down the road, and I thought, oh, what if I take and make a wheel that's off center? In other words, I'm going to put the center of the wheel off to one side. And I thought I could vibrate it up and down and make it resonate, adding energy and making myself go faster and faster. So I took that idea to my AP physics class. I threw it out to them and I said, this is a pretty good challenge. Let's build it. One young lady went home and told her dad. He said, it's never going to work. Not in a million years. So it's really tough when you meet some negativity. I had this great idea and it just gets shot down. Just like taking all the air out of my bike tires. Flattens it out. So this young lady thought it was a challenge, an obstacle, if you will. So her and her friends made me some wheels. Now, another way to think about resonance is how it's going to move. So I don't want you to, to rebel against your parents if they tell you how to do something. Sometimes what you need to do is think outside the box. And what you want to do is make the box clear so people can see what's inside the box you're trying to talk about. So here's another way to think about resonance. It's a hula hoop. Now you can make a hula hoop go faster and faster and faster by wiggling your hips. By wiggling your hips. Now I don't have any hips. It was really hard to get this to resonate. And those of you that can move, you're actually resonating. Now, skateboarders and snowboarders know all about resonance, and they don't do any calculations. They also wiggle their hips. And remember, it's all about timing. So if you can wiggle at just the right frequency, you can get moving without actually putting your foot down and pushing. Remember, it's all about timing. So my students made the wheels. And the wheels go round and round and round and round. But they're off center. So what we do is we have a bicycle that can move without putting your feet down. Or without putting uh, your feet on some pedals. Because this bike doesn't have any pedals. It's just a straight rod. So if I want to move it, I've got a resonator. <laughs> and so my resonance is with my arms pushing and pulling at the right time. <laughs> so Emma didn't work alone. She worked with Amy and Jillian. And both of the ladies, actually all four of the ladies, worked with Katie, and made two wheels. Now the trouble is, they made these great wheels, but the communication wasn't there. Well, it was there, but the parts I gave them that are all recycled work, and so the wheels were slightly out of phase. 
So right at this one, it's a push, a jump, a push, jump, push, jump, push, jump, push, jump. It's like riding a horse. <laughs> The students at work wrote it yesterday. They got a great workout. This one is just for upper body. This one's for upper bodies and legs. <laughs> so who knows? You might see this at the gym one day. <laughs> well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you for your time and your attention. But I also want to thank Jillian, Emma, Katie, uh, <laughs> Matt. Matt. And Amy, I think Amy Larry. Jack, oh, Jack, I hate it. So the real students believe in their own skills, they believe in my idea, and they made these bills for you guys to enjoy the future. Thank you.